Welcome to Agripreneur, a program that looks at the Nigerian agricultural sector and what it is doing differently. The demand of goat in the market has opened up new opportunity in the animal husbandry. In fact, it has now become a lucrative business among Nigerians. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at a woman who is taking advantage of goat farming as an agribusiness. And of course, we shall be navigating to the market to find out the cost of these animals, especially now that it is a festive period. I am Gaza Yakubu. There are no better times. Farmers enjoy selling their farm produce and animals like the festive season. This is the period when the market witness change in price of items, obviously for demand and supply reasons. Goat is a domesticated species of goat antelope, typically kept as livestock. It was domesticated for the white goat of Southwest Asia and Eastern Europe. The goat is a member of an animal family, Povidae, and the subfamily, Caprinae, meaning it is closely related to the sheep. There are over 300 distant spread kept as livestock. <laughs> Goats are among the animals enjoyed by many Nigerians. Some Nigerian farmers who have taken up goat farming are now counting their fortunes. These animals come in different breeds and survive based on the region they are commonly domesticated. Meat production is the common reason why farmers engage in goat production in Nigeria. However, there are other products that can be derived from goat, such as milk, cheese, yogurt, ice cream, and butter. The breed of goat commonly found in Nigeria are the West African Dwarf, Bernou Red, and Sokoto Red. And just like their names, they are mostly produced in these regions. The environment is a factor in goat farming, but the West African Dwarf is considered to survive most of the Nigerian weather and produce more meat compared to other breeds. If you want to bring uh, the one from Sokoto, those who want the weather here, they are not favorable to them. So you, you, you look into those uh, maybe the weather condition of the place that is favorable. If you go for the, uh, this West Africa Dwarf, those short ones, they, they adapt to any weather. They can survive. But if you bring the Sokoto one, those long legs, they cannot be able to adapt to our weather here because their feeding is very, very hard. Most of the leaves they eat there, they are not grown here. And in the east, in the east, this uh, West Africa Dwarf will grow there. And because they consume it a lot, most of them that even grow there, most of them that, that consume it, they don't grow it. The West Africa dwarf, they have more meat and it's good for markets. That one is good for markets. Once you have the male or, or the female. But this um, Sokoto's own, they don't have meat. They are tall, but they don't have meat in the flesh. That is the difference. And you know, because of that, some of them, the, the Sokotos, oh, they remove the skin for leather. But the West Africa dwarf, when they are roasted, they roast it together. Like all these Igbo, if you go to all these restaurants, they roast it together and they, they use it for meat. Unlike cattle, goat farming is not like a nomadic arrangement. The goats are raised in a semi-ranching method where the animals are confined in a fixed location and supply feed, but occasionally allowed to roam outside their fixed location. For proper and effective goat rearing, these animals are not kept close to residential areas. 
because you can't do it within the city unless if the place is fence you understand if the place is fence and uh, maybe they have not built on it that so that the grass can grow there for themselves so that they can eat because they don't like caging they like to run about that is most very important because they find it difficult for them to eat at the same place and poop at the same place they find it very difficult so they like to walk around and eat so that is the most challenges that's why you see if you say it's within the city now you can't have enough space like this inside the city if you want to start in a big large farm so you have to get a land you get a space where you can be able to keep them during rainy season or dry season. During dry season, when the weather is hot, at least they will have a place to rest during the daytime and where they can be able to be secure in the night. That is all they take. According to this farmer, you do not need to think about huge capital to engage in goat farming. To have a rewarding farming system, goats are usually mixed to provide them a platform of reproduction. From birth to maturity, a goat takes one year. At this stage, the female goat, also called nani, are ready for production. Uh, when you get a me, a female one, you get a female one, maybe you buy it at the rate of 15,000 and you keep it for one year. For that one year, she might have put to bed maybe once for you. Let me say once. So maybe if that once, the next year again, she will now start giving birth to two. So there is a pocket. The feeding of goats is relatively cheap because the major food they eat are green grass and crop. But some farmers always have a formula for producing their feed to enhance fattening. Oh, I have a vegetable farm. I have a cassava farm, which I, I told you I have my own main farming. I have uh, this uh, processing, cassava processing engine. So because of that, when I harvest cassava, by the time I peel all the back, I gather the pea for them. And uh, most of the leaves too, I gather it for them. And my vegetable farm, by the time the weed, we gather all the weed this dry season, we gather them for them. Sometimes we spread this uh, uh, spinach for them. We now go to the farm and harvest for them. When they feed on any grass, they feed on the spinach. This ugu leaf, they do eat it. And uh, you see these uh, beans? Beans, they eat the beans. The back, the back pea. They eat dusa. That is the corn pea. You take it to the engine. You can go there and buy the bag of the dusa. You mix it with these beans. This uh, beans chaff, you mix it with them, it helps them to grow faster. It's not like that. Look at those beans we harvest now. After harvesting, they will go back there, they will eat all those leaves. After I finish all the leaves, the beans, the, the cones, those bags, we gather them, we gather them in bag, we keep them for them. Or those people that plant uh, granite, all the leaves, we gather them in room temperature. So that that green taste will stay there. You beat all of them together, beat them together. And those ones is, why we kept those ones, we normally keep those ones for rainy season. Because rainy season, a day, a day will come slight. It will rain from morning till evening, they will not have food. So that time you'll be giving them that one. But this dry season, they can go about. Dump is very, very good. We use it for vegetable. This is inorganic manure, which you apply it for your vegetable, or even the banana, we use it for the banana. And it helps them to do very, very well. Help them to do very well. So by the time we gather them for one place, 
Later on, we take it to the farm and spread it in the farm. You can use it for your yam, you can use it for your maize and do very well. A goat's wort is usually according to its weight. The farmers say goat is a lucrative business because with the cost of production put together, the wort of goat in the market is profitable. If you talk of pepper soup, any restaurant you go, you must see pepper soup, goat, you must see goat meat. Ah, It's more, it's, it, you know, it, let me talk of their feeding. It's not, a, it's not all these uh, agri or feed, you understand? Their own is natural, they eat natural leaves, you understand? So they don't have so much uh, complicated that maybe you just them, you just them, no, 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 no. It's natural. I can show you there, there are some made there that is, is up to 50,000. Those ones are, those ones are over five years. You understand? But we bought them to cross the, the female one. So it depends on the sizes that determine the price. Mm. Like the female one, not everybody that have female one that want to release is female if it is a good product. You understand? So it makes it to be very expensive. Because if you have a good female, you don't want to lose it. You don't want to sell it because of money. Unless maybe you are in need. That's why we sell it. The animals she produces are not just goat but also have sheep because they have a lot in common. The farmer has no worry over the violence displayed between the two and both animals could be sold high in the market during the festive period. As consumers rush to catch up to the traditions of festivity, we move to Anagada Market in Abuja, a livestock market to find out the situation. Stock market is in its peak. A local market by standard and a roadside market. The number of goats in this market tells you how interesting good business can be. More than five trucks arrive the market daily to supply livestock with each of them carrying not less than 300 goats. Se <laughs> ina daukan buna shinkafa da sauran su da haka kawan gona duk dai shi nake tare aiki nake kine abin da nake yanzu dai jiya na taso jiyar haka na baro gaidan ya wa zuwa nan waje in kuwa fatakon ne kaga jau ma zan kwana kuma goma ma zan yi kusan wuni sannan in je ni san waje hanya alhamdulillah ko ba haka ba hanya akwai gyara mu yanzu kan ba kaman yadda da muke shan wahalar shi ba hanya alhamdulillah ana gyaran hanya kuma na ci gaba da yi har yanzu ko muna jin dadin wannan harka Alhamdulillah wa naharakan. 
ba wani matsala ko ba haka ba mu damuwan mu dai a hanyar nan gaskiya mai gida barayi ne suke damu dan ajiya ma akwai mototin mu da suka kawar wajen guda bi ma akan hanya wajen kanan nan da Kaduna tsakanin nan wajen kuma nan kamar nan kuma muka tafi tsakanin Kaduna da Abuja kin nafin ne suke damu yawa to shine babban matsalolin mu akan hanya wannan abubuwa muke so inda da yadda za a yi magance mana wannan ana zuwa har ai ba za a bari ba hanyar cin abincin ka ne ai dole ko da ya din ana kuka ana tashi ana faduwa ana tashi dole za ka yi shine abin da yake wannan ne this market the got way depot this market pass 1000 Pass can we reach million ma? But today go drop three trailer. Yeah. Sometimes they drop five trailer, three trailer, small small car, ten. I go drop it here because this, because this market they move way way. Any time you are the same goat pass one thousand point one day here. Today I bring hundred goats. From today, unless tomorrow don't finish, I'll go market buy another one. This goat I maybe I go put one million or two million. I go buy him. Any two ways he pull off, I turn good to Allah. I see small small go sell him. From the north east to the north west, traders mop these animals and assemble them for the highest bidder. The livestock market has its method of operation. The market does not pick up until in the evening hours when all the animals arrive the market. This is the afternoon and the market is yet to gain its momentum. Most of the animals that arrive this market are from Katsina, Jigawa, Yobe, Maiduguri and Kanu. Anagada is considered a livestock market but with goat as the most common for trade. They made the market come here not quite long ago. And since it came we have been appreciating it because it's in a good location where people easily access and view it even whenever they are driving the expressway at Kongola Dairy Council because many people they don't know of Anagada before but this market bring the name of the community to so many other customers around the price that we negotiate here is as far as still better that we travel as a butcher or as other small small dealer that we are going far to not as far as we can see what we need here and the price is okay for us to buy and we do business with them here by god grace since we are already in the season where we know that is a peak period for everything in the market we also expect people to come and patronize more because many people when they cannot afford to buy the full one they will come in two to buy one and divide they will come in four to buy one and divide it's also advantage Then we used to start the market around 5 early in the morning to 8 to 8:30 in PM in the evening so that we normally we used to close we are bringing it from north and some many parts of the state and sometimes it's even abroad from the country that's like Niger and other country and they are also bringing it here for us here yeah. The breed of goats that arrive this market are the Bernou red West African dwarf and the Sokoto red goat. The worth of goat in this market is 20,000 naira upward. You do not get a goat for less than 20,000 naira irrespective of the breed. I like for the goat like big size of the goat we are get you can get here it's like 30, 35, 40, 20 and rest. And you know say it's something that has a size. We have big, we have medium, we have small. So the price is depend on how the size of the goat is. The market is made up of sections. The goat, sheep and cow section. But this episode focuses on goat. Hello. 
The traders say the price of animals sold in this market are affordable, but buyers could go back empty-handed if not prepared. Away from the activities of Anagada market, there are reasons why rearing goat is considered by farmers as a lucrative business and is increasingly becoming very popular among modern farmers. It demands especially the meat is very high, and it comes with a unique test that differentiates it from other animals. I, I like goat meat, and uh, I like it because uh, it's, 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 it's a kind of meat recommended for all ages, and particularly those of us that are are advanced in, in age, and uh, it's, it's good, it's, uh, it's the, the texture is soft, uh, much more or less fatty compared to other type of meat I know in, in, in the market. So, I, I like good meat. Okay. Yes, it belongs to the group that has, uh, has very good taste uh, compared to other meats. I think it's, it's highly tasty and I like it for that. Goat rearing can be associated with some challenges. They have a lot of diseases which can spread easily and kill the animals. If the feed is contaminated, the animals could come down with some symptoms. Uh, maybe during the rainy season, you know, sometimes if you allow them to graze, uh, some farmer will spray the uh, spray the herbicide. So if they eat the leaves, they will start having diarrhea. You understand? So those ones you now try to manage it. Some of them, sometimes I normally use a cow, that is potash and red oil. If you notice anything like that, you give it to dissolve that thing sharply before you can get to retina. The importance of land is another challenge, like for this farmer who lost her goat to theft for want of land. Well, the challenge uh, is, is the space, land. That is the most important thing. To get a land in Abuja, you know how hard it is. And if you don't have your own personal land, a day will just call the owner of the place, maybe you lease it after three, four years. When he knows that you are increasing before you know, you will just say, pack off. You want to make use of his land. So those are the challenges. Like three months ago, my former place I was staying, the FCD came, they demolished everything. Even the looters came. I have more than, more than 75 goats then. Before I can be able to gather it every, that very day, the, the Mopo, the Real Safety, the Melene, the, all these ones that put on blue, defense, they came, uncle. Police came from FCD. That's how they put all the farm down, Ganasco farm. They destroyed everything. The looters, all this Mebola, they came. They were carrying your goat like this, that you cannot do anything. Goat, laugh goat like this. Mebola will carry the goat. They put it on their shoulder, they will go away. So what will they do? Those are the big challenges. So because of that challenge, now over three months now, I have not even recovered from it. To set up my own uh, place that I said, I have not. You understand? So those ones are very, very big challenges. A regulated environmental condition is not a source of concern in goat production. Guarantee that you have enough portion of land for your goat to wander about freely while feeding on the grass at the same time. Well, on that note, we've come to the end of today's episode of Agripreneur. Join us some other time. 
I am Gaza Yakubu.